You are the creator of your reality. Sometimes we ask, why are you here? What did you come for? And sometimes people come because there's something specific that they want to make happen in their life. I want to live in a different place or I want to be in a happy relationship or I would like more money in my life so that I can have more freedom or I would like more rewarding work or I would like to have more freedom in my day. There are very specific things or needs that you come wanting and we're encouraging all of that. But at the basis of every single thing you want, whether it's a relationship or a material object or a pile of money, everything that you want, what you really want is the feeling of joy, the feeling of freedom, the feeling of satisfaction, the feeling of alignment with who you have really become. So if life has caused you to want more money, vibrationally speaking, you have abundance that you are depriving yourself of. If life has caused you to want an improved relationship, vibrationally speaking, you are pinching yourself off from the relationship improvement that you want. And the reason that you're doing it is not because you're a masochist and it's not because you're not wise and it's not because you're not capable. It's because you've been lured by what is into a vibrational pattern that won't let you change. So we want to talk to you about vibration and momentum and about where you stand and about how through life you have sent all of these vibrational rockets forward which have become the vibrational version of who you are and the vibrational version of who you are it's such a real thing we called it vibrational reality for a while we gave it a name the vortex wrote two books about it because we want you to feel the bigness and the realness and the wholeness of it but most of all today we want you to feel the resistance freeness of it we want you to feel the sweetness of it the niceness of it the love of it the bigness of it and most of all the power of it because there's no resistance in it there's resistance when you try to get to it but when you just know that it exists and don't try to justify going to it it will call you to it when you are least expecting it we want you to give up the struggle of improving yourself and accept the perfection of who you are which makes us want to talk to you about who you were before you came into this physical body pure positive energy why you came because you're good and you know it and you wanted the experience of experiencing contrast for the purpose of giving off rockets of desire for the purpose of becoming vibrationally more so that the more that you are could call you forward so you could feel the freshness of creation we want you to let go of the bonds the binding the clutching the resistance of what is just for a little while while we're chewing together today and at least accept the existence of a fresh non-resistant you who you get glimpses of all the time you see it in the animals that are frolicking or the children who are frolicking and you see it in yourself while not so often when you frolic you experience it when you just throw your head back and laugh hard at something you know it when you are in a state of appreciation but what we are getting at is usually you get there because of something that you've observed that you can't control very well we want you to get there because you've decided to make that dominant because you've decided to make happy dominant because you've decided to make the evolved you dominant because you've decided to make feeling good dominant because you've decided to make love dominant the other morning Esther had been watching television before she went to bed and when she woke up the first thought in her mind was I hate that person <laughs> it was a person on television an easy to hate person And because she was so new into the day 
and didn't have much momentum going we said to her and she heard us hate is hate hating somebody is hating there's just no excuse for it there's no excuse for it you want to make hate dominant then watch television Oh, that's not really fair because there are lovely things on television <laughs> but you're not ready for it yet <laughs> you got a lot to make dominant before you ever turn it on again <laughs> so we want you to recall with us today that you were source energy before you came into this body and the larger part of you still is and while you've been here sifting and sorting and launching rockets you have evolved as that soul being and the vibrational part of you has become so much more than it was when you first got here in this body and you are not ever going to be happy unless you are up to speed with that becoming you got to keep up with your own evolution you cannot let what is hold you back and what is will hold you back what is is holding you back because you're observing what is it's full of vibration you activate vibration of what is you practice vibration of what is and you do not allow yourself to move toward what you really want because what is is dominant in your vibration now you want to say we know you do we can hear you all over the room well isn't it logical that what is would be dominant I can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it yeah we get it because you've made what you're seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching the reality that is most important but we want you to realize that in this reality there are life affirming things and there are life depleting things there are things that make you feel love and there are things that cause you to feel hate there are things that are uplifting and praiseworthy and there are things that are not and you have choices that you are not making because you've got dominant thoughts that are holding you back we've enjoyed this interaction immensely <laughs> so as we are chewing together today it's our desire that together we make dominant the things that you've chosen through life that are in the greater scheme of things dominant and so we think it's fun for you to evolve in some of those vibrational patterns to make what you want more dominant than what you've got and the focus wheel can help you make improvements but there is something about a daydream have you ever found yourself in a daydream you did it a lot when you were little where you just let your mind wander and it went to really cool places where you felt really free and uplifted and sometimes those around you usually your teacher <laughs> wanted to snap you out of your delusional daydream and bring you back to the sucky reality <laughs> that you had escaped temporarily but we want you to decide that you're going to take an advanced course in daydreaming we want you to decide that you're going to allow yourself to go where your inner being already is and here's the thing that we want you to know your inner being isn't taking you into illusions or delusions your inner being will call you into a reality that you have formed bit by bit through life experience when someone was rude you asked for nicer when you were rude you asked for nicer when you didn't have enough of something you wanted you asked for more when you had something you didn't want you asked for something that was improved you have been living life and you have created a vibrational reality that is daydream worthy and because your inner being is there knowing who you really are and knowing what you really want to live fully in terms of manifestation your inner being gives that undivided attention and it's only when you divide yourself from your inner being that you feel negative emotion that's what negative emotion is you're not dreaming the dream like your inner being does you're not seeing the positive aspects you're not acknowledging the benefit you're not embracing the value of the contrast and riding the rockets your own rockets of desire 
And so now you know our heart's desire. Our heart's desire is that you let yourself be you and stop being the old version of you. Now, reality, what's manifested is like gum you've chewed the flavor out of. <laughs> There's so much more. We want eagerness to come over you. We want you to think about the things that you want. When you think of travel, we want you to no longer kill the first thought of it by saying it's expensive or airlines aren't what they used to be or there's too much traffic on the highway or there's too much construction because while some of that is true most of it has no relationship to the thrill of getting out into the world that you still want you see when you stumble across the thought of financial freedom just for a moment and you feel the lift or elation that comes with that sort of fleeting thought fleeting only because you kill it with logic where am I going to get that kind of money how am I going to ever be in a place where that could come to me so you practice the thoughts that don't let your dreams live so your dreams don't be dominant your current bank account is well you don't have to do that if we could convince you that what is vibrationally dominant within you will be and it will be soon that if you could find new better feeling thoughts and make them dominant which means make what is less dominant because the dream the daydream the idea of what you want is more dominant you would start seeing the power of that kind of leverage and Esther experienced a visceral feeling of that when she understood for the first time the difference between the power of a focus will which is still cleaning up vibration and a daydream which just does not have any resistant vibration in it to begin with a daydream that is resistance free you used to do it all the time why'd you stop others around you thought you should face reality because they didn't know that you came to create reality they thought you just came to face it. as you make the association between what's going on vibrationally and what's happening it's never a mystery is the secret to being or the powerful tool to being a deliberate creator an effective creator is to have an association between how you're feeling and what's unfolding most people don't have any awareness of their creation until it manifests and then they either like it or they don't but they didn't have much control in it because it was created out of observation but when you start caring about how you feel so you're guiding your thoughts then you start noticing well this good feeling thought led to this good feeling thought led to this good feeling thought led to this great idea led to this inspired behavior led to this result cause and effect cause and effect cause and effect cause and effect this negative thought led to this negative thought led to this negative thought the thing about cause and effect that we would like to amplify here most people don't say it in fact maybe nobody has ever said it before who cause and effect you get a negative vibration going on and the effect will be a more negative and a more negative and a more negative and a more negative because this is certain with the law of attraction momentum will ensue so a negative thought will produce more and more and more and more and more negative momentum just like a positive thought will cause more and more and more and more positive momentum yeah so it's that easy.